Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is a preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 25th September with a 12.30pm kickoff as the Borough take on Reading in the Scarbet Championship at the Select Car Leasing Stadium. Well, Borough fans, it was one game to forget uh, at the Riverside um, this last weekend. I mean, we went into the game against Blackpool um, after that, uh, you know, brilliant win away at Forest, you know, from going from one spectacular high of getting a result there to the lowest of the law of not picking up any points at all in our next home game after that against Blackpool. I mean, we got to a decent start, like, we took the lead inside uh, seven minutes through Marcus Tavernier's first goal of the season. Um, to be honest, when I first saw, when I saw the goal in person, I thought it looked offside, but it is what it is. But um, I think after the game, uh, there, were, there were signs, you know, that Blackpool were going to be uh, um, going to cause a threat throughout the game. And I think in the second half, they did get their reward. I mean, Quite controversially, my ad. I mean, there was no way that Tavernier fouled um, uh, one of their players in the build-up uh, to win the free kick. It, even uh, I was speaking to um, a friend of mine who was a Blackpool fan who attended the game, and he said that it wasn't a free kick at all. So um, you can make up your own minds about that, Borough fans. But um, anyway, it was taken, and Marvin Ekpatessa uh, equalised for Blackpool, and then no less than about ten to fifteen minutes later, uh, Blackpool went in front. Uh, through an unfortunate uh, Grant Hall own goal um, to win it and um, we never looked threatening after that and plus the fact um, that Anthony Dykes still went off injured as well and he's going to be out until later next month at the latest so he'll be out for a few weeks Neil Warnock confirmed that in his press conference um, earlier on today um, it was one of those you know I mean you know I mean some people say the pressure started the Martin Warner but it's like early to mid days of the season. I mean, you can't judge them based on the late games. I mean, I mean, where we are at the moment in 15th in the Championship is not exactly um, the best place to start off with, but um, it's a long way till next May, we're fans, so I, I'm going to try to keep positive as I can and hopefully Warnock, you know, can uh, get us out of this uh, current predicament that we're in. Um, like I say about Dag Steele's injury, he's going to be out until October, but there were some good news from the camp today that possibly Paddy McNair and Mark Bowler will be Returning in some capacity after both uh, returned to full training earlier this week. So they'll be coming back in. And then Martin Piero, who saw, picked up a knock um, in the last couple of games, but he came back on for the Blackpool game and had a good chance, possibly, you know, to get the equaliser in that Blackpool game. Um, came back as well. So hopefully, you know, despite, you know, the injuries to Dag Steele and, you know, and being without McNair and both for a while, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, we'll get, we'll improve from there. I mean, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a long way to know, uh, till May. So hopefully fingers crossed we can progress well from there. Now we'll go to our opponents uh, on Saturday, uh, Reading. Uh, despite the current predicament they're in, I mean, they've got their own troubles off the field with a possible points deduction uh, hanging over their heads. But not too similar to Derby's, uh, but who are facing a 12-point deduction. Uh, Reading are currently facing a 6-9 to nine point deduction over some financial fair play deals that they had, but, uh, with, which reminded they were under a transfer embargo this season. But um, on the field, you know, they're doing all right. I mean, they currently sit two places above Borough at the moment. Um, the record going into this game is played eight, won three, uh, drawn one and lost four. Uh, last game out for them was a good one result for them. A 2-1 win at way at Fulham. I mean, in the form that Fulham were in, um, it was a good result for Reading. You know, despite their own problems uh, off the pitch, they're doing well. I mean, um, they just missed out on the playoffs last season and no doubt their current manager, Velko Pavlovich, will want to... Uh, build a squad, you know, despite the difficult difficulties they have to try and uh, make another effort going towards the playoffs. I mean, I mean, they're go Reading, Reading are going in this game, obviously, um, with a few injuries. Um, I mean, most compared to ours. I mean, uh, they're without Lucas Zhao at the moment, and uh, they're without the likes of Andy Wiener Mortar, they're without the likes of uh, Liam Moore at the moment. So, they look like a completely depleted squad from what I've checked, but. You can't look at the fact that there's still some good quality players in that Reading side. I mean, the player we've got to watch out for in particular is John Swift. I mean, he can cause a threat no matter uh, where, where he plays. Um, it's certainly the the uh, number 10 which uh, any championship club would want to have in their squad. And it's certainly, you know, John Swift is um, one of them top quality players in this division, you know. Um, most people, you know, most people speak of Fulham's Tom Kearney at the time, but I think John Swift will be the um, next one to step up, and I think he will step up from what I've seen of him. Other Reading players to watch out for as well is uh, Obi Ajaria. Uh, he's um, 
came through there. Liverpool ranks then he got himself the two goals in that last win they had against Fulham. So he's going to be a cause of danger as well. And Junior Hoylet, they've bought him on the short term deal. We were linked with him uh, quite thoroughly in this window. So uh, he's been the main striker for them ever since Lucas Zhao's injury um, earlier on in the season. And they've also got George Pushkas as well as a backup option uh, up front as well that Reddy do have in their, uh, in, the, in their disposal. So don't count Reddy out. I mean, you know, like I say, they have their own troubles off the pitch, but on the pitch, they are a decent team. And we've known that for the last um, odd few years or so. Um, the last time we played them was obviously um, back uh, at Barksh at the time when it was the Majeski Stadium at the time, but it's now called the Select Carl Eason Stadium for sponsorship reasons. Um, we went out 2 0 winners there last season in their last uh, meeting. Um, Ashley Fletcher put them in front, I and mean, who can remember that screamer from Mark Bowler to give them the win? So, anyway, um, I think in the last four trips we had to Reading, the last four trips, we won them all. So, I think the last time they beat us there at the Medeski was all the way back in 2015 in our promotion season. So, it's going to be a tough ask, you know. Uh, I mean, I think it's about 1,500 Borough fans making the long trip down to Berkshire. Going down the early hours of the morning, so fair credit to you, Borough fans, for making the trip down. And obviously, it's on Sky as well. So, hopefully, you know, in front of the cameras and in front of that um, good backing, you know, hopefully, we get the three points and you know, hopefully get out the current situation that we're currently in and stop being too inconsistent this season because that's what the downfall that was led to us missing out in the playoffs last season. Anyway, leave me your thoughts and predictions for the game in the comments below, Borough fans. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, our social media links will be in the description as well. And until then, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV, and I'll see you on the next preview video, which will be for the game on Tuesday, the 28th of September, as Borough on the midweek welcomes Sheffield United to the Riverside. Until then, Borough fans, take care, stay safe, and up the Borough.